What is up guys, today I'm gonna show you guys the behind the scenes of Indiana. Uh, unfortunately, I have here all the bounce tracks, so I can't really show you guys the effects behind the scenes or the raw sounds. But I'm going to try to explain them as best as I can to my memory. Because for those who don't know, this is a very old song. I'm going to attach a video right here of the song, I think in 2019, when I performed it the first time. Very raw, very the very raw version. And yeah, fortunately, I stayed with it and keep working, working, working till I was happy with the final result results. So yeah, the first thing I remember recording was the guitar, obviously. So yeah, I just remember mixing the guitar very simply, very simple, because I wanted it to have that like gr grungy, I think I think you can call it, that grungy bedroom pop, lo-fi quality. And then I put a phaser on it. If I'm not mistaken, I put Baby Audio's Magic Switch, I think it's called, if I'm not sure. I don't have it right here. Let me check if I have it right here. Yes, Magic Switch, this one. I put that one, and I put it around halfway there. And then obviously what you have to do is the exact same thing. Just record the guitar again, put it on the opposite side and then mix it as similar as possible. Then the second thing I did to my knowledge was adding the bass. And the bass, to my memory, I recorded it on just my guitar, the same guitar that I recorded the guitars on, lowering it an entire octave so that I could, so that it could sound like a bass better. So yeah, that's what I did. And yeah, a very, very simple mix. And I, I wanted to give it a bit of, I wanted to be really subby. So, so it has a nice oomph. I don't know how to explain. I'm, I'm, I'm not the best producer out there. I just like to have fun. So yeah. And then, ironically, the next thing I did wasn't the bass. I remember adding these before adding the actual drum. So I added, I add that. And then I add the drum. And yeah, the drums is very crushed, very compressed, very like tight. And um, initially, I didn't want that. I didn't. I wanted it to be more like more raw. I don't know if that makes sense. I wanted it to be more. I don't know. I don't know if it makes sense. But unfortunately, I can't record actual drums. I can't record like real drums because I don't have the equipment for that. So I had to use like a MIDI drum. And the MIDI was sounding too clean. It was sounding too perfect. I don't know if you know what I mean. It sounds too perfect. So, so that that's then I kept mixing and mixing and mixing it. And I found this one to be a pretty. I liked how this one sound. It sound very, very very grungy. I guess I I like. <laughs> And yeah, and then just to add a little bit more texture, I added the tambourine to it. And then the final thing to the instrumentals were, was the synth. First, it was a glockenspiel. At first, it was a glockenspiel. Because I, I like the innocence of it, how it sounds like very innocent, the song. 
but after uh, after a bunch of brainstorming, I just I like this this synth more because it it did give it a little bit more of that innocence. This synth. <laughs> Because it does sound, it does sound like a glockenspiel, but uh, but with a little bit more synthiness to it. So yeah, that that's that's that, and then the vocals. The vocals are very simple, very easy. Uh, the back and vocals. I don't feel myself no more. I don't feel myself no more. Wanna feel like I the back and vocals are very laid back, very chill and easy because when I did it like on tempo and exactly every time like perfect, it was sounding too robotic in my sense in my in my opinion. And when I had it a little bit more laid back and together with the lead vocals, let me check in. Yeah. I don't feel like myself no more. No Give it a little more more chill. I don't feel like myself no more. Wanna feel like I felt before. before Oh yeah, and in the lead vocal, I, I bounced them together I shouldn't have done that, learn from my mistake So it's three vocals, just like all the other tracks One in the middle, one left, one right Wanna feel like I felt before I met you So it gives it a little bit of thickness So, yeah And uh, then the, the chorus No, the verse so give me a sign, don't wanna waste time And I'll be yours only if you'll be mine So when I recorded that verse And I, I didn't have the backing vocals So give me a sign, don't wanna waste time And I'll be yours only if it sounds it sounds too depressing in my opinion. It sounds too uh, 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 uh. so it doesn't have that body because it was it, it was such a danceable song at first, and then when the first comes, it it brings the energy way down low. So that's where I added the these vo vocals. So give me a sign. Don't wanna waste time. And I'll be yours only if you be mine. If not, I don't. So I, I did sing it with bit, a bit more energy, but I didn't like how my my voice sounded with that much energy in that verse. But then I, I pitched I pitched it up, so it gave it more of a, a child-like aesthetic. And yeah, I know it doesn't sound like an actual child. It sounds a bit robotic, but I, I like that. I like how robotic it sounds, because, yeah. So give me a sign, don't wanna waste time, and I'll be yours only if... Oh yeah, and I panned it a bit to the left. And yeah, I did. So yeah, that that gave it a little bit more energy. If you did mine, if not, I don't mind. I just don't want lies. Look me in my. So yeah, I liked how that sound. Oh yeah, and this part, I always wanted to do it. <laughs> I always wanted to do this, this. Because uh, there's a bunch of songs out there, I'm pretty sure you guys know of them, that has a very stable and monotone voice. And then another one, but very high, going at the same time. So I really wanted to do that in a song. And yeah, I found this one to be the perfect moment. You stole my soul and I asked how come I felt so alone While you were so close and I just want myself again Now where did I go and what happened to the guy that I used to So yeah, I just wanted to do it and I felt this to be the perfect moment to do it So I did it to know, yeah, way before This part, originally, I had like a big swelling synth sound that came like... So tell me what we but I liked it, but it sounded too poppy and modern in my opinion. I know it's corny to say because it is already a very poppy song, but... I don't know, that was a little bit too much for me because I like how this sounds. It sounds, it sounds like just... 
it's not too complex. And yeah, if you guys listen to my other song, there's there's I like to put complex stuff in my song to give it a little bit of uniqueness. But I like how this one was not. I don't know. It, it had it had an innocence to it. I guess you can call it. And this voice right here is the only track from the in, the original version that was really not released, but was played that I had in 2019 that I didn't change. It was this vocals. So tell me what we're yeah, obviously I mixed it and do stuff like that, but not that I re-recorded the voice. Everything else I re-recorded. So tell me what we're gonna do. Wanna feel like a fan like before. I'm a tune. I'm a tune. Ooh, tune. Ooh, tune. So tell me what we're gonna do. It's very auto tune -y. It's very, yeah, obviously I use a lot of auto tune but it's very auto tune -y. It's very like distorted, very crushed. And I like that. I like it. sounded like it's coming from a megaphone. And yeah, that's what I wanted. And that's what I did. And it, it felt very real in that moment. So I never replaced it. The back and vocals. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So tell me what we're gonna do. So yeah, that was the that was the production of uh, Indiana. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this song. It's very innocent and poppy and easy to sing along. By far my favorite song to play live because everyone can sing along and yeah, I, I love that. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe and um, go listen to Indiana. Bye.